Good evening and welcome to another episode of Touchline Fracker. Joined by a diverse cast this evening. We've even got guys uh, drinking Super Bowl. 30 seconds in. Um, Seb, how you doing, mate? <laughs> What's good, man? What's good? Cheers, good lads. Cheers, lads. Is that, that LO special? Oh, man, you know it is. Of course, people, no, get, your, get, get your LO. Tell them oh. out fast. Uh, Dan, how you doing, mate? What's up, bro? You good? Yeah, we're good. We're good. Looking forward to this. It's going to be an interesting one. I'm ready, man. Good. Meads, how you doing, brother? No, I can't complain. I'm good. I'm ready. Yeah? Uh, Dissy, how's that super mode, bro? I'm um, short perfection, bro. Short perfection. <laughs> How you doing? Feeling bullish? Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. You know what I mean? Master switch to the background so that people know what time I'm on soon. You get me? We'll see. We'll see. Uh, Oka Samuel. See? Not quite, not quite a fan of the league champions, but obviously still repping. How's it going? You're muted. <laughs> I'm mute now. Okay. I thought someone was trying to call me. And because I put it in that, um, the, uh, the moon mode, it, okay. I didn't know if, yeah. You're good, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I'm all good, I'm all good. Sweet, sweet, I'm, sweet. I'm, I'm even clueless, man. This is embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, that, I think it's going to be a fun two hours, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm usually the one who has the most issues with the, the tech side, so somebody else taking that crown is it's fun to see. No, cool. no, I'm, so, I haven't taken a crown still. I'm just competing. I'm, I'm understudying. Understudy. You're, cha- you're a challenger, yeah? Yeah. Cool. So I wanted to touch on a couple of topics uh, this evening before we get into the, the meat of the pod. Um, earlier this week, Gary Neville came out essentially imploring the Premier League to help the teams in the football league. So we're talking championship down in this difficult time. And I just wanted to go around and just get you guys' thoughts on uh, what he's asking them to do. If you agree, if you disagree. I'll start with you, Dissy. I'll mute myself real quick. Um, I disagree. I disagree because essentially he's asking the FA to leverage TV money to kind of bust the 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 lower league clubs, but that money is actually the club's money. So essentially, you're asking the clubs to bust the lower league, and I don't think that's the Premier League club's responsibility. Um, because if they go bust, like who's who's when all Portsmouth and Leeds and them were going down the drain. Nobody was trying to climb up to, to bust these clubs. So it, it's, it's a nice sentiment in principle, but I don't think you should do that in business. Like, I don't think it should be Leicester City's and Burnley's and Manchester United's responsibility that a next man couldn't last like three months without without making money. That's my, that's my opinion. Cool. Is anyone in agreement with Gary Neville and thinks that with the amount of money floating about in the Premier League that the Premier Club should help the rest of the Football League? I mean... I don't think there should be an obligation to do it, but I think that if some clubs were to, to donate money, that would help the low, especially the lower leagues. I'm talking about the League Two's conferences. I think, I think it'd be a good gesture, but again, I don't think it should be by force. I think the, the one thing you don't want to do is kind of force um, or enforce it upon the clubs because that's when it will start to have problems and there'll be beef. I, I don't want there to be beef between the league and the teams itself because I think that's what will happen if you start forcing them to do stuff and you can already see that there's there's starting to be um, a bit of friction between the clubs and the players because now this this pay cut is being enforced on them so once you start doing that it starts looking a bit messy so last thing you want to do is do that in my opinion cool Uh, what do you think Seb? Uh, yeah from my standpoint um, kind of echoing what Mead said I don't think it should be a force thing um, however, I do feel like it should happen from like a personal standpoint and, and also from a selfish standpoint for the top clubs because when you, when you think about it, um, all right, cool, highly unlikely that all of the teams go bust, but that's what a lot of teams are saying, that they're unable to operate for, um, you know, two more, two more months or they can't play players. And um, we had um, the, sh- the Gary Neville show that you, you spoke about, there was actually, I can't remember what chairman it was but basically 75 percent of their revenue has been slashed so it's not so it's not so like uh it's not it's not like the fact that they don't even have the cash reserve is that they're paying people and plus their revenue is depleted so then 
at, at, you know, it comes to a stage where you're paying, you're paying, your revenue's depleted by, by 75%, you're just going to be unable to pay. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like clubs in that situation um, should definitely get help. And then also on a more selfish level from the Prem clubs, the clubs that you, those are the clubs that you want to be loaning your um, players to, like League One, Championship, you know, players that, are, um, clubs that are struggling there. You want to be loaning your uh, players there to, to get their experience. Do you know what I mean? So um, I definitely feel like it, it makes sense. But again, um, it's business at the end of the day. So if they don't want to, they don't have to. Um, but yeah. Agreed. I mean, all in all, it sounds like we're talking about, what, 10 to 15 million pounds across across the 68 clubs in the football league you think of the money that's in the premier league that's that's not a big that's not a big ask can i just add why 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 can't i say pattern that Set a man's yearly salary i won't name names the the fa should if 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 that's a thing that should happen then surely it should the owner should be on the premier league to do so yeah can i just add you that the actual um, the actual money what, what they wanted to do is leverage the tv rights future TV rights to then loan to the lower league clubs. So it wasn't a thing of uh, Premier League clubs taking money from their cash reserves. It was loaning money from the banks against future TV rights to loan um, to the to the lower league clubs. So I feel like in that aspect as well, it, it, it definitely makes sense. Obviously, they take a future hit because, you know, these clubs are always making projections, 10-year projections or five-year projections. So their projections are hit in regards to that. But then, you know, if it's a loan, a structured loan, the money does come back and they're not taking it from their cash reserves. It's from future TV rights. Yeah, I'm, I wasn't um, familiar with this. So I just gave it a, a read. Yeah. And yeah, Neville, no, I'm seeing Neville talk about 500 million. And he was looking at essentially... Um, the TV rights, if the upcoming TV rights is 10 billion, then the Premier League should look to loan in 5% of that, which is 500 million, to the, the leagues underneath as a loan and then spread it over years, like four or five years, um, to keep them afloat. To be, to be honest, that doesn't seem like a crazy proposition, though, to be honest. No, I, 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 looking at Especially it now, I, I do know. I, I feel like the lower leagues could be looked at as small businesses in yeah. the real world of the economy. If, like if it's they're, not- they're really important. It's important um, to to keep them going because um, it's like you know the, uh, a collective kind of impact in terms of even though they're so small, all of them together, it's a big loss if a lot of them go. So mm. I do feel it is a it's something that will be in the best interest of the sport as a whole if they support the clubs underneath. That's all cool, but for me, it's like, yeah, if we give you that money, when we come in for your lower league talent, like the big clubs, <laughs> I don't want to hear one of that 50, 60 Bam, million. no noise, no pimp. Whoa, you off that pad and give me that player, Kurt. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear no talk about 15 dates, bruv. I don't want to hear about that 12 million. <laughs> Yeah, we kept we kept your whole club afloat. For real, yeah, for real. Bro. And put it on the tab, innit? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we take, yeah. Take a, <laughs> put it on my tab, put it on my tab. Take, take a bit off the feet. Bellingham, yeah? Bellingham, bring him, put it on my tab. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, big man, you know what? Put, put, it, put it on my tab. Put <laughs> interest. Just give me Bellingham still. I love that. <laughs> Take that, feed your family. So the second topic I, I wanted to discuss was the, the interesting topic of the Dutch league being voided. Uh, they're the first European league to actually go ahead and come to a conclusion in terms of what's happening. Um, what are our thoughts? I'll start with you, Sam. Just see what you think. So obviously, you're probably the person here whose club had the most skin in the game. Or we're talking about 30 years of hurt. Yeah, I, <laughs> you're, a few, you're a few weeks away from that all ending. You know it is? I saw the headline, but I didn't read it. I saw it say that it was going to be voided, but I don't know what that means in terms of like things being decided. Can you clue me in on what's being this like? They will. That, they're they're not going to have the title. They won't be given the title. Okay, European, I'm about European places. Mean, European places are decided, and there's no relegation. Okay. Is what it is, isn't it? 
Yeah. Cool. That's what happened. It is what it is. It is what it is, man. That's what happened. That's what happened. The game's a game, yeah? What do you want me to say? That's what happened. I just wanted, yeah, I just wanted your, your thoughts. Um, uh, my thoughts is unfortunate for whoever's top and lucky for those that were going to get relegated. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Um, lads, do we think that this could potentially set a precedent? For the for the yeah. rest of Europe, because I know quite a few leagues are going back and forth in terms That's of are we going to keep playing? Are we going to actually return? Are we going to give the title? What what do we think? I think the money is different, though. I mean, that's what I was going to say. So there's the a lot money of, different. B. There's a lot that, of, a lot of reasons. Money is different can, over here, cuz. Nah, there's a lot of there's a lot of there's a lot of a lot on the line, why, cause. There's a lot of reasons to why um, it could be slightly different. Um, not only is I mean Holland isn't one of the considered top leagues in, in, the, in, in Europe, so the big four leagues, and financially they're not, I guess it's quite different in terms of there's a lot, there's a lot less money involved, a lot less money at stake when it comes to obviously playing the remainder of the season. So uh, it could set a precedent, but I just don't think that was a big enough league to make that move, for, for that move to actually be influential or significantly influential, in my opinion, anyway. If it was, say, Italy, then, uh-huh, okay, maybe a, a, like the other leagues would be looking at it thinking, mm, okay, this might be a bit of a sticky one. We might have to follow suit, you know what I mean? Because I think all the top big leagues will follow suit, in my opinion. When well, one they all, you think they're all watching each other, yeah? Yeah, million percent, million percent. Cool. Anybody else want to... Uh... <laughs> Oh, you yeah, got it done. I think that I think that league was voided when Alfonso Alves scored like fifty goals. In one <laughs> That's why it's like it's the Dutch league in it. But you know what? I know a little bit about it. Apparently, the government said <laughs> the government said no football for three months anyway. So okay, so a decision had already been made yeah, in regards yeah. to football. And then beyond that, I think the top two are on the same points. So it's not like Liverpool where they're kind of running away from it. But but um, Germany are going to be going ahead. I think everyone's looking to Germany because that's a serious league, isn't it? No, no shots to the Dutch league. But yeah, if, if the German one goes ahead, and I, I know that England, they're already trying to get people out training, then yeah, I think they'll, they'll do it. People need money, man. They need these games to go ahead. They do. But I think uh, Germany's perspective, they've managed the COVID situation as well as any country has. So they've kind of put themselves in the best position to be able to go ahead and resume their league. Over here, I mean, we're all here, we're all in the trenches. The situation isn't quite the same. We'll, we'll, we'll continue to watch it unfold and hopefully we get some resolution. I think, I think we also need to look at what, you know, like opportunity costs. Because when you're, you know, de depending on the, the, the salary you make, like some people can afford to not go into work for three months and some, could you get what I'm saying? Like, though, like if you're... Um, with a league that's making so much money like the Premier League, there's there's a big, big like trickle down effect on avoiding the league. Do you know what I'm saying? Like the the T V That's from a Liverpool fan though. That's huh? from a Liverpool fan. Listen, every summer we go without a league for three months. Every single year, do you know what I mean? So it's like it's two more months than that. It's not that bad. Every single Liverpool fan are gonna say there's gonna be Huge things that are going to go so wrong. When, when, the football, when the football stop? When the football stop? Early March. March. Early March, wasn't it? April, May. So it's, it's two months we've lost. Yeah. Yeah. It's not that bad. You know what I'm saying? It's not. It's not like it's. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Sense. So how how much? How much? Like how much is the TV rights? Right now. Um... This Isn't is it, are they still on the hook? Are they still on the hook for like another eight hundred million? For the, yeah. They were still on the hook for another yeah, eight hundred million for the rest still. of this season. Eight hundred million for the rest yeah. of this season. I, I don't think that's something you can downplay, though. You can't. You can't. You can't. No, nah. you know, no, no. You're, you're correct. <laughs> you're correct. You can't. No, 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 no. Things on the line, bro. The problem, it's just sidestepping like these big factors, these big variables. The problem, yeah, I'm a Liverpool TV. fan, but I'm not here like trying to wave a flag off that. Like I'm looking at it from a business standpoint. A businessman, yeah. Come on, entrepreneurs. And true, and true say, true, and true, say, true say. You see, like you see, like um, Holland and them man. Them man made the decision while they were smoking weed. So you know, <laughs> just, them man are just relaxing. <laughs> them man are relaxed. It's smoking. true. 
<laughs> then when I relax, and it's like, yo, come on, man, easy. It then listen to Bob Marley. No <laughs> worries about like the thing. They were just, they were just chilling, and then they said, listen. Come on, man. Let's void it. <laughs> let's let's, let's void the thing still. Um, by the way, in terms of TV rights, um, how it's like a three point nine billion pound bill. So how what's that? It's like nine million per game. So every game not being played. So what? There's eight match weeks, isn't it? Mm. So hold on. Let me just do the quick mathematics. Well, roughly eight match weeks left. Yeah. So that's ten times eight. That's eight 17. games. Yeah, seven hundred twenty million pounds. And it's probably yeah. a bit more than. Um, nah, it'll be more than that. That, that don't because sound right. No, because some people have like games in hand. So yeah, so that oh, 800 man. million figure is probably um, the correct gist, you get me? So 800 M is a lot, a lot, a lot of red, Steve. Wait, wait, hang on, hang on. This background of yours, Champions League. I don't know if I'm going to be in that big man. I don't know if I... <laughs> <laughs> it's a thing where you have to look at how much the Dutch league is relinquishing, like financially, by yeah. avoiding the season. Yeah. How much are they relinquishing? And the average, probably about 55, probably about 55 euros, bro. Probably, that, you know, to be honest, it'd, be, it'd probably be around a 100, 200 million pound mark. About that, right. so ain't nobody, ain't nobody trying to watch them use, bro. That's like 12, 15, we say that now. we say we say how much they're relinqu- relinquishing, but it's relative, isn't it? If yeah. these these clubs are relying on their TV money just as much as the Prem clubs rely on their, just to different uh, to varying amounts. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Obviously, mm. how quickly we're able to manage this situation as a as a nation will have the biggest impact. We'll get to the point where it would be. Uncontrollable for them to decide to resume the season. Anybody else got any any thoughts they want to um, provide on this subject? Because I'm I'm eager to get into the the main the main the main what, agenda. No, but what I, just a quick one. Um, do you feel like club? I think in this, especially in this country, I think clubs might actually take the decision to just cut things off as is because that's effectively what. Holland did so. They literally said, "Okay, where we are, that's it. It's done." You know what I'm saying? And the championship thing, honestly, I I, I don't think any club would actually accept the title. Well, what, wait, what's would. the what's the championship thing? Oh, championship. Oh, oh, I thought you meant the league. I thought you meant the league. Oh, okay, championship. So, well, so as, as a title, they're just yeah, not, yeah. They're not, I don't think they would have accepted. It. I mean, they would have taken it if it was given, but. I think they're quite okay in the fact that it's like, okay, you know what? There's going to be no no winner this season. There's going to be nothing. There's going to be reigning champion. It's cool. Mm. And, um, and I think maybe Ajax received the Ziyech money and said, you know, we're cool. We're like, we're we're like man. We're, we're up. We're up. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> That's all right for us. Yeah, yeah so, it, so Van der Beek as well. I said they said they'd probably light up a Zubi. I was like, you know, fuck it. We're <laughs> the <laughs> Cool. All right, guys. So, this week, uh, in honour of the uh, NFL draft and how engaging it was for all of us. I think we all were watching the videos, people's girlfriends snatching phones away away from them, people's families' lives being changed. We're going to be holding our very own draft this evening. That's a touchline fracker draft uh, where our five panellists will be picking teams for a Super League that would be competing over the next five years. Uh, we're going to use a random draw method for you guys to make your picks. Uh, and other than that, there are no rules. Um, 11 players, one manager. So that's 12 rounds for those of you doing the maps. Uh, bear with me while I uh, share my screen with you all. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Why am I laughing like that? He's nervous because he's thinking, did I actually close that porn tab or not? Like, he's just he's shaking, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's shaking, bro. That was the first thing. That's the first thing we checked, Gubs. Come on, this ain't this ain't a rookie of the year. Cool. So what you can see here is uh, random.org. It's the platform I'll be using to randomly generate the draft list. Have, have, you, have, have you done it? Or is this the generation? Yeah. Well, you guys will watch it, so you can see that there's no there's no cheating. 
Run that again, you know. Like, you see, it? everything is above order. So. Reload it. Reload it. This is the five of you. So, Bro, like, how did you do that? <laughs> how did I share my screen? Yeah, I did. I was down my laptop and I see. Was it your laptop? Oh, yeah, it's on my laptop. So, oh, um, how, how this will work? I will randomize the list. We'll run that list from top to bottom, and then from bottom to top, and then we'll randomize it again. So every third uh, round. We'll randomize the list again. And uh, probability being probability, you should all be number one at some point and you should all be uh, number five at some point. So let's do it. Why Good is luck, it incognito? <laughs> Come on. Can you... <laughs> <laughs> let's, use a level of, let's use a level of decorum. There's no, there's no need. There's no need for, for aesthetics. It it's for aesthetics. The black. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's no need for it not to be. Or my, my main okay. tabs. My main um, Google Chrome tabs have like 15 tabs open. So I just thought. Say none. Say none. Separate. This yeah, is no, what. You couldn't, you couldn't open another holding tab. That's cool. <laughs> Mate, a new window. You can open. Okay. Hey, so on. you can see. What? Uh, oh, again. That was random. Done. That was randomized because, yeah, as you're aware, random. Sebi was top and now he's third. So the first round, we'll have Mies going first, Dan it's going second, one. Sebi going third, Phil going fourth, and <laughs> Mr. Champions League going fifth. Um, yeah. well. who, 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 like what what we think? I get, I, get, I get two. I get two picks. No, you can, you pick, pick, no, no, you can pick. Yeah, you can pick whatever you want. Obviously. Oh, any position you can pick. Any, any position, position, including the manager. Obviously, you just have oh, to. Oh, piss me off! I thought we were doing it position by position. No, 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 no. Let no. me get my notes out. What? Uh, part of the draft. Everything. <laughs> part of the draft process is outsmarting your opponents, isn't it? Say Picking none. Okay. Why are you guys not Where the pick? market's saturated, and I'm going to leave that alone. Hey, hey, right, hey, right, hey, right, hey, 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 uh, you have 30 seconds to make your pick, sir. So it's quite simple. With me, I generally build my, my team from the front. So I don't even need to worry about managers because I need to make sure that my team's stacked. So obviously, number one pick, Kylian Mbappe. Killer ah! you know, Kylian Mbappe. Quick one, 21 years old. You know, he can play in a variety of positions up front, wide, wide attacker, notches goals. It just makes sense. He's only going to get better. He's only 21. 20, yeah, 21, 22. So, yeah, it just makes sense. I think, what, in history, he's got, what, the second most amount of goals before he hit 22? Come on, man. It just right. makes sense. I can't say I'm surprised. Um, second pick uh, is Dan. Sir, you've got 30 seconds on the clock. Okay, that killed me. Mbappe was obviously my first pick. He was going to be my franchise player for the next five years. <laughs> I know there's a lot of people on this call that like Sancho, and obviously... I prefer certain players over Sancho. It doesn't mean that I'm not going to pick Sancho as my number one pick. So Sancho is my pick. He's going to be my franchise player for the next five years. Okay. Great. Uh, Seb, 30 seconds on the clock, sir. Did you really need to ask me? <laughs> <laughs> Did you really? Come on, man. You know who I'm picking, man. You know, you know, you know, come on, you know, who I, you know the vibes, man. You know the... You know fucking vibes, man. Uh, uh, on, Marcus Rashford, bro. Uh, you know, you know, uh, you, you know Rash. Um, better than the other two that's been picked. Um, you know, top top player coming into the prime of his season. Um, you know, just he's filling out right now. Um, yeah, man. Next five years gonna be probably you know up there. England's top goal scorer might win Champions League, Prem. Yeah, man. So Rashford, that's what I'm on, man. Cool. Uh, number four, Samuel. You got 30 seconds on the clock, sir. Damn. All right. Flipping. <laughs> I'm gonna go. For, I'm gonna go for Cam. I'm gonna go with Jao Felix. Oh. Oh, interesting. Jao I Felix. Forgot about him. He, he wasn't even on my draft board. God damn. Well, you know. Yeah. Uh, oh, wow. So is he a sleeper? Yeah. Think on my feet there, and. Uh, I feel I feel that other positions there's a lot of good options and at a peak age. Uh 
And uh, the Mbappes and Sancho's are gone, do you know what I mean? So I'm going to go with Jao Felix. Neymar, bro. Shit. Cool. And D- Dan. Oh. Let's, let's not do that, yeah? This uh, <laughs> is your pick, Well, Dan just, Dan just spoke my pick. That was my, he was the first <laughs> on my draft board. I want to pick, man, I'm talking about Sancho and, and Rashford and that. Picking the second best player in the world. He's only, what, 27, 28. He's going to be a top, top player for what well, very minimum of three or four years. He's miles better than everybody else. That's not called Messi. Needless to say, Neymar, easy. Cool. Easy. Um, easy, easy, and squeezy. Cause... And that's um, the end of the first round. Just a quick discussion. Um, thoughts on Seb picking Marcus Rashford number three overall in the draft? My, my my reports tell me that he probably would have been available in the tenth round. So uh, honestly, I never had it. <laughs> right, 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 right. I, I don't think any yeah, strategically. Okay. I don't know why you did that because yeah. who's gonna pick Rashford? No offense. Well, yeah. actually, yeah, a bit of offense. But who's gonna pick Rashford? <laughs> Come on, Debbie's here for the content creators. We we know what um, he's doing. Yeah, why are you <laughs> Seb, you, you wait. Down. I advertise. Sponsored. Seb, Seb, Seb is showing why he picked Rashford. Because... Seb, hey, what's up, what's up? He's been he's drunk. He's, he's drunk. Drinking water like... <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Nah, Come for on, real, for real no, you could have had a franchise player. I don't know. Rashford, Rashford is a franchise player. He's England's best player. <laughs> what else? So I won. What else? So I won. What I won. England's best player. For me... Uh, no, 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 quick, quick, quick. Can we talk about quickly, 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 yeah? yeah? Man can't be telling man that a certain Corona Ghanaian boy is generational and, and telling me about his this and that. Come to the first pick. Okay, me that I allow because man picked a map and that. You get me? That's mm. cool, yeah? But that, that comedian guy, yeah? Award-winning comedian, by the way. <laughs> yeah? That's an Yeah, Come give me his flowers. He didn't even pick my man. We picked the guy that even arguing with me that he's better than. <laughs> Oh, yeah, but remember, re- remember. I think to speak on that yeah. behalf, and you can correct me. There's not going to be apart from Meads. Nobody else is probably going to go for Cho, so he can probably wait a couple of rounds. Yeah, um, but, I, yeah, also, you have to be efficient with your picks, bro. Yeah, I don't know why. Exactly. This. You have to exactly. be efficient, bro. It's not a it's game. Huge. Hey, Cho will be available in the seventeenth round, still. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Like, like, obviously, my boy Sandra got picked in the first round. I'm up, so. Cool. I think for me, the pick of the round has to be Neymar. Best player, the best player currently in, in, that's been drafted. The fact that he went all the way down at fifth, I'm stunned personally. Um, no, but I would have got Neymar, but you know, Brazilian I players. I think it was an age thing. It's probably an age thing. But you know, what, Brazilians expire, what, around yeah. 29. So this is going to get, what, one good year? Two good years yeah, at best? No, 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 I mean, there's, there's some arguments that he's already the most durable. Uh, Brazilian, we've ever seen. I, just, I, just, I, feel, I feel like I could get other players in, in those positions. I feel there's just a lot of options with wingers. Yeah, that's, that's, not, that's not a bad yeah. shot. Okay, so into yeah, the... I'll, I'll just put the best one. Okay. Yeah, uh, into the second round. And our first pick of the second round goes to Jesse. Who are you going with, sir? 30 seconds on the clock. 30 seconds on the clock. It's not, it's not an heavy. Messi, quickly. Messi and Neymar in my attack already. Messi's going to yes. be the best player in the world for another what, two more years. 33? How does he? Yeah. Okay. Cool. We'll, 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 we'll discuss it at the end of the round. Oh, uh, cool. Messi Samuel. Neymar, thank you. Thank Samuel's, you for having me. Samuel's got thank some questions. Uh, the number two pick of the second round, uh, Samuel. I am going to go. Hold on. Let me check his age before I commit. No. Okay. You go. <laughs> He's got. Hey, five, you no, because you lot didn't tell me it was a five-year thing. <laughs> You're a top big man. I love the He's got 10 hey, seconds. You've got 10 seconds, fam. You've got, got 10 I'm seconds. Going, I'm going with Bernardo Silva. Okay. Bernardo Silva. Okay. <laughs> I'm not picking Nando's FC, you know. It's crazy. Uh, um, Seb, with the third pick of the second round. Okay. Third pick of the second round. I'm going to go a bit off key mm-hmm. and I'm going to go straight to the right back and I'm going Trent just for Samuel. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going Trent just for Samuel um, ah. got to be strategic G you know what I mean ah, I'm, okay. I'm in the so, end so I know you're spiteful you got Nigeria mm. like, the, fir- the, fir- the first uh, blood of my enemies move of the uh, TLS draft <laughs> come from Seth who else would it come from though who else would we expect that from cool uh, with the fourth pick Dan who are you going with sir
Hello? I'm a hold on, hold on, hold on. So, Dan, with the fourth pick of the second round, who are you going to be going with, sir? Yeah, I'm going to dovetail off of Sebi's strategy, and I'm going to go for someone that I know that everybody, probably on everyone's list, Alfonso Davies, full-back, left-back, second pick. I can't lie, that's pissed me off. <laughs> that's fine, I'm going to join. Yeah, well done, well done. Do your thing. Okay, no, no, that's okay. Man, I'm going to pick a full-back in the second round and that. Sam's <laughs> true, and Davies, that's, that's calm still, man. That's still, cool. and that's with the... With the fifth pick of the second round, Meads. Not in heavy. Not in heavy. What's going on? Oh, crap. Oh, shit. It's to be shown. It's to be shown. All right. If I let so... me get glass so I can look intellectual like Meads, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you already know going to Lataro Martinez up front. Oh! No! No, I had no. No. That's good. Lataro, that's good. That's good. You, know the, okay. you know the vibe. I always okay. I know start with the team. Uh, I know so I I don't get it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, go, 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 go pick some meaty Argentinian you, bro. Fuck that nigga. Uh, I'm to him now. Interesting. Who? I don't know why. <laughs> I'm on to him. I can't remember why, though. Because, I don't know, I don't know people are highly rating him and you don't like him. Um, who is you okay. guys' pick of the second round? Well, obviously, I, Messi. I remember the picks. Uh, Messi, Messi obviously... Bernardo Silva, Trent, Alfonso Davies, and Lautaro Martinez. They all sound meaty, bar Lataro and Davies, to be honest. I mean, Messi obviously is Messi, but he's got an expiry date in what, two, three years. So you can get some use out of him. It makes sense. You're going to get use of that. Mine, but... mine says some use out of, the, out of the person who's better than everybody at football by an astronomical yeah, distance. Yeah, yeah. It's about this is like signing Jordan. No, no, but this is, like signing Michael, this is like signing Michael Jordan when he's got what, two, three years left. Oh, man. You know, man. You gotta no, get the no, best. Okay. You're gonna get the best. We know you're gonna, gonna get, get the best. I'm gonna get a quick two, two years, two, three years of the best player in the world. And guess what? The second best player, he's gonna be the best player. I've got it on my roster already. Oh, shit. Right. <laughs> right. 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 I'm gonna the glasses on. Man, man, the glasses on. Man, focuses and studies. Yeah? You, you, want them to take, you want them to take you seriously this year? Yeah, basically. Cool. <laughs> So, uh, round three, we're going to use our randomizer again to select our order. As you can all see, everything above board. Uh, cool. Number one pick of Jesus. the third round is Samuel. Number right. two pick, Disu. Number three pick, Dan. Number four pick, Meads. And number five pick, and you genuinely hate to see it, Serbi. <laughs> no, it's good, Serbi. You, you, you get back-to-back -back picks. You get back-to-back -back picks. That's why it's lit. Lituration, yeah? You would know Jesse. Those are the those are the Kazals. The, uh... No, Gucci. Okay. Right. That's, so, that's what that means. So for life that's for them, yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah. Sam, you ready? You yeah. Got Thirty seconds on the clock, sir. All right. Cool. I I had a few short lists. I'm I'm worried they're gonna pick all the strikers now. So I'm gonna go with Timo Werner, 24 years of age, okay. and have him as my striker. Can't believe I'm on my board. Look at that. Okay. No, no, that's it, that's no problem. That's no problem. That's no problem. Look, with a number I'm two pick. Don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. With a number two about pick. About it, sweet, huh? With a number two pick in the third round, this is. Okay, cool. So just to make my attack, you know what I mean? Like, I'll just go for the hottest property right now. So just give me, give me Harlem, you know, the Winter Soldier. And just give me Holland, Messi, yeah, and Neymar up front. I'll see you at the Champions League final. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you up there. I, I, My I team saw some. Oh, I, saw some, some rea I saw some reactions there that that, that looked like I, it was a. It I was can't a lie. Pick. I was looking at Holland for my last pick, but I thought Bells. let me just give these a chance still. So I thought let me go for the light, the lighter version. Still. That's cool though. I All respect right, your cool. choice. That's that. That's Haxley, so. Cool. You know, you know, like that. Um, Dan, with the number three pick of the third round. Who you got, sir? All right. So this one's going to be my first non-African heritage pick. <laughs> I'm going... Is that is that code word for P and P? Yeah, this is like I'm just, <laughs> just 
This is a Pan African live only. <laughs> exactly. A Pan African live only. <laughs> Doctor Uma's my head scout. Um, but sometimes <laughs> you gotta get your South American attackers, bro. <laughs> so obviously, since Lautaro's, I'm going to Icardi. I forgot his 30 seconds, but I'm going to Icardi. Icardi. Uh, Dan. Just got I that on my board. You got that picking. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't make it on your draft board, this is. Oh, no. Nope. no, no, no. Uh, with the number four pick of the third round, Meads, who are you going with, sir? You know what, yeah? <sighs> this, this is a man whose plans have been thrown, I can tell, because... I can't lie, I was thinking, why not get one of the best young talents in, um, in England? Um, in fact, I'm going to go there, because well, I need a midfielder. So we're looking at Phil Foden, um, 19 years age. You're actually a mother. Man City, Man City youth prodigy, um, great player, great talent, great ability. So yeah, Phil Foden. Phil Nine Foden, age. nice. And with the to... fifth pick of the third round, Zeddy, do you Jesus honestly? Uh, so, some of my guys have been, they've been, <laughs> they've been, <laughs> they've been <laughs> taken, but. But I've, 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 I've changed my strategy. I've changed my strategy. Great manager fly. can tinker. They call me the tinker man. Yep. So I'm going Leroy Sane on, on no! the left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No! Going Leroy. Going Leroy, you know, no, next five years. Elite PMP, you know what he's going to be on, man. You know what my boy is going to be on, man. You know what he's going to be on. I'm not going to lie, it was on the board. You know what he's going to be on. It was on the draft board, yeah? Yeah, man. That was my next pick. So I didn't think we'd already be getting to tense situations by the third yeah. round, but uh, everybody seems to be grabbing their head in agony every time a pick is made. So, mm. guys, firstly, I want to ask you who you feel the pick of the round was. Remind me of the picks again. My memory's wet. Timo, Ver- Timo Werner, Alan, <laughs> Akadi, Phil Foden, Alan. and Leroy Sane. Sane, Sane, it'll be Sane. Harlan's the pick of the round for me. I think Sane. Uh, I mean, Harlan, who, would you, who would you say is uh, picking I, I, around? I think I think I, I did want Harlan, but I feel like uh, now with my new strategy, I'm happy with Sonic. So starting. <laughs> <laughs> Something tells me you're gonna have. Give me a second. Eight more new strategies. That's this. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. I just had to. I just had to change my front three. How how it's gonna set up? Right. It's cool now. It's calm, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Into round four, and with the first pick of round four, it's you, Seb. Uh, just a reminder, said. you've got thirty seconds. As I said, I changed my strategy, so Leroy is gonna have to be on the left. So you know, on the right wing, one of the hottest properties, smashing up the Champions League, Gnabry. You know what I'm on, man. Come on, you know, oh, what, you know what he's, you know what he's gonna be on, bro. Uh, like, come, come on, man. Well right. So, so oh, you know, elite yeah. PMP, elite PMP in the front three. You know what's gonna happen, bro. Yeah, I know that's a good pick because Gnabry on my board still, but obviously my team really patterns, so I don't really mind like that, but. Well played, Seb, still. You've got two picks on my board. No, three picks on my board. <laughs> no, no, no. That was, that, was gonna, that was an option still. I said, really? Oh. Um, no, it's... Uh, yeah, it is you, Meads. So, unfortunately, oh, no, because... You know, what? Yes, it is. Because Meads was fourth. Now he's... Come on. There's one so, person so, uh, hosting the draft, please, sir. <laughs> nah, because Sebi um, took my right-wing option. Obviously, I'm going to go for the... Again, another English prodigy. Um, uh, Chelsea's number 20, Callum Hudson Odoi, uh, Caltech. <laughs> That's cute. Right wing. <laughs> Get my right wing. He's not favoured by some. He's not, he's not favoured by some, but I, I, I back him to be, you know, a certified pick still. Yeah. Sonny, how old is he? 19, 20? 19. 19. Sonny, pick for the next five years. We'll, we'll see how that pans out. Um, Dan, um, according, according to ESPN, that people say he was still available a few hours later, but they say it's a reach for a pick. But <laughs> <laughs> um, Daniel was lurking still after yeah, true, true. sources. Sources say he had a gritty upbringing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with, the, with the third pick of the fourth round, thirty seconds on the clock, Dan. I'm not going to lie, the lights got to me last round. I shouldn't have picked the Cardi so soon, you know? Yeah, <laughs> that was... I agree. I, was, I, I agree. know. I can't believe I know. it. I can't believe you weren't even on my I list. Know. I don't know. I he wasn't on my list. You weren't on my list, me. I know. He's, I got he's, a, he's a locker room. He's a locker room cancer. But continue. <laughs> hey, yo, your dressing room is going to be poison. You know that, right? Um, my, my, my job business, yeah? yeah. So, <laughs> five seconds left. Upa Mercado, centre-back, 
Fair enough. Fair no, enough. I'm gonna go Man up quicker. So, hey, hey, Daniel's team's in a... But Daniel's strategy's all over the place, bro. Again? Right, cool. <laughs> it's a Dr. Umar. Dr. Umar. Uh, <laughs> suggestion. So we're going to keep it back. Okay. Uh, with the fourth pick of the fourth round, this is... Obviously, I've got my front three already patterned, you know what I mean? So it's time for work on this build, and come on. You already know the vibrations. Mr. LeBill, Paul Pogba. Oh, God. So, done. <laughs> Quickly. Paul Pogba. Quickly. Okay. Good choice. Surprise to see him still on the board this late in, uh, in the draft, but I think everybody's made sure that their attack, their attack is bolstered and they're worried no, about... So I'm not picking Bernardo Silva in that. Scary. Yeah. Yo! <laughs> Yo, he's 25. He's 25. Yeah? He's a baller. Yeah. Ooh. Lex. Ooh. Lex. Sorry. Yeah. He's Technique, Portuguese yeah. as well. The chemistry, the Portuguese pet chemistry with Jao Felix. You think you know, ain't thinking about the, the harmony. You know, ain't thinking about. You're not thinking about. You're harmonising off the five doors and five assists. You ain't thinking what bro when man needs to speak. Do you know what I mean? Ra ra ra. Hey, Mead, how many goals did Phoenix score this year? I think it's like three, three goals. Like that. Like three Man, goals. I said, but I'll score like three goals. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Why are you talking about now? No, next five years, he's going to be, he's going to be the world's best in the next oh, five, five years. That's like, hey, five years. Next five years, he's going to be the world's best. Five years, I have 30 goals, so it's just combined, yeah? So what? So, 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 so Sam, who's your, who's, your, who's your next pick, bro? So, uh, with the fifth uh, pick uh, of the fourth uh, round. I'm, I'm this is, again, Again, Meads, you're doing, you're doing the Disney thing. I'm the host, yeah? Sorry. I'm happy for you guys to banter among yourself. When it's time to cut it down, I'll shut it down. So, Sorry. with the fifth pick of the fourth round, 30 seconds on the clock, Samuel. I'm going with Raheem Sterling. Oh, yeah. 25 years old. People yeah. forget yeah. how young he is. Yeah. I'm going to be seeing a wonderful peak from him. Okay. And, yeah, he's going to be my winger on the left. Yeah, he was on the board still. Ugh. So, so we're, we're four rounds I'm in. I'm surprised. He was still there. We're four rounds in, and I want to touch in with each of you just to find out how you're feeling about how your team's coming together. I'll start with um, you, Seb. Um, Seb, how, how are you feeling about your team at the moment? Amazing, amazing. Um, I feel like I already know the manager um, I want to pick, and nobody else will pick him. So it's it's, it's, it's great, man. Like, um, man's gonna pick Ollie, you know? Yeah, man. <laughs> Come on, who, who else, man? Amazing counter attack style that we've got. You know, Sane, Rashford, Gnabry, counter attack style. Hey, what else? Hey, what else do you want? Hey, that's okay. that, that team of the cat will be long. What else do you want, mate? What else do you want? <laughs> uh, Meads, um, how are you feeling about how your team's coming together? Very, very, very good. Um, considering that I've got the best attack, the best young attacker in the world. Um, one of the well, two of the best English talents um, in the last four, five five years, um, and we've got a hitter up front. Well, I know, we don't know a hitter, but potential hitter in the Tower Martinez. So you're invested. I like to my attack first, and I feel I'm quite comfortable where I'm at. Um, um, Martinez is a good punt. Sam, how how are you <laughs> feeling about your team thus far? You seem to have done the most research, or it looks like you've done the most research of all all the panelists here. So, how do you feel your team's coming together? Uh, I, I like it. I feel I feel there's a good man drew my thing and that. I feel it's okay. a good I feel it's a nice good little structure going on over here. I already know players that aren't gonna get picked, I'm gonna leave them for the latter stages. I know what I'm gonna do. I don't worry. You all in hand, yeah. I know what I'm gonna uh, do. I know what I'm gonna do. This is four rounds in. How are you feeling? Feels like you've gotten everyone you've wanted so far. Fam, this couldn't have gone any better. I already knew that I wanted to get Mbappe and Neymar and Messi because surely someone would have sense. But when Neymar fell into my lap in the fifth round, I was just like, this is Fifth pick in the first round. Yeah, so when I saw I was fifth, I was happy because I knew I'd get back-to-back pick. So, mm. And obviously got Haaland. I was surprised that neither Meads or Daniel went for Haaland. That was a surprise to me. I think the lights got to Daniel. Man, man started picking random random youths and that. And I got my and I got my favourite player in the best football in the world. So it's, it's, we're eating good over here. We're eating good. Am I popping uh, up a ball, actually? You get me? Uh, and Dan, <laughs> um, a mix of players, Jaden Sancho, Alfonso Davies, Icardi, <laughs> um, how, how do you think it's going? They have to read them out, bro. We, we know. So, I'm not sure, you know. I, I thought it would be better. <laughs> but hearing the other team is in it and then seeing my team, so far it doesn't look too good. But 
I'm hoping in the next round, you know, we can get back in it. Next couple of rounds, you can make yourself uh, hey, a, a, a bout. I, yeah? I, I, touched, I touched the dad, yeah? I I'll get out. Cool. Cool. Shut okay. <laughs> Ahead of round five, we are going to, once again, randomise our picking order. Give me number five, please. Um, <laughs> no, <we've... laughs> I don't okay. mind that. I don't mind that. We'll go with that. We'll, we'll go with that again. Um, so, with the number... You're right there, Dan. <laughs> Dropping stuff and all sorts. <laughs> um, <laughs> Man is shaking. Man is literally shaking the table. Oh Man is literally God. shaking, bro. Um, <laughs> so, I, I, think, I think he hasn't recovered from the Icardi pick. He's <laughs> <laughs> a picture. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh god. <laughs> so Meads, with the first pick of the fifth round, sir. I know. Once again, I know 30 this. seconds on the clock. So again, I'm working backwards. So now we're looking at um midfield. Um there's a couple of options. I've got a couple of guys, so I'm not gonna force it too much. Um but I'm looking at Kevin De Bruyne again. <laughs> Motherfucker. He's 28. Probably one of the best, if not. I wanted him, but he's aged. Yeah, I'd have him. Because the thing is with Kevin De Bruyne, he's got the capacity, as you've seen throughout his career, to move about. So I don't, I don't, I don't bet against him to drop deep as he ages. Um, he's already dropped into tender mid, so he could maybe drop into DLP to German. I don't know. You don't know. You can't pull it against Kevin. He's that talented. So, yeah, Kevin De Bruyne, again. I don't know. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. Um, I, I think the mic picked up and you can confirm you guys are making this easy for me can we confirm that is what you just said I, I, I don't know I, I'm not, gonna... not sure either <laughs> allegedly, <laughs> <laughs> allegedly. Um, Samuel <laughs> with the number two pick of the fifth round 30 seconds on the clock sir I'm going to go with um, my team's quite a young team so I'm going to go with some stability some composure, and I'm gonna go with Virgil Van Dyke. Why would he go centre back? Who cares? I just uh, don't uh, worry. Uh, Have you seen my team? Oh. Do you know what? Do you know what my team looks like? <laughs> Do you know what positions I've covered? Gentlemen, I will ask for you guys Thank to please you. retain your decorum. We're we're all gentlemen here. <laughs> nah, nah, he's in. <laughs> Van Dyke, anyhow. Don't be sure. my Van Dyke. Please, please, touche, please, touche, 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 touche. And with the third pick of the fifth round, Dan. I don't, I don't trust my own decision making. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, 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 I'm a, I'm a roll with it. All right, I'm gonna go with Ricardo Pereira. Okay, okay. Yo, what the? What? Uh, yo, what the? 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 Yo, Yo, what the? 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 Daniel, yeah. Hey, I spent hey, the whole of time. I need to pick him up for you. From 2014, yeah. So, Six years talking about attack, 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 <laughs> attack, 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 attack. Yeah. Man came in making two right backs, a right back and a left back or something. Nah, uh, I'm dead. Hey, yeah, like, people, like, yeah, when, when like, Dan's like, when Dan's team's finished, yeah, everybody's gonna be like, look at the fucking drip, man. Are you crazy? The <laughs> blue <laughs> 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 yeah, quite interesting. Um, Seth, you're up next with the fourth pick of the fifth round. 30 seconds on the clock. It's easy for me, as I said. Um, I'm going for pace and power. So I'm actually going to go left back and I'm going to Andrew Robertson. No! One of my favourite left backs. Yeah, man. Just for you, boy. One of my favourite left backs. Um, yeah, he fits He fits in with the style of play I'm trying to go for. Um, and I don't think anyone will pick uh, all of my midfielders. So I'm comfortable there. Okay. And with the fifth Let's and final life. pick of the fifth round, Jesse. 30 Obviously, seconds. Obviously, like, it's, it's, it's going quite well. I can take a risk because... 
I could pick this person higher than I thought I was going to do because man would let me have all my boys. So fifth round, what are you fifth round right now? What round it is? Yeah, I'm so fifth round. My, I'm picking my coach, Pep. Oh, early. Pep. Pep. Have the best coach, the best players. You know the vibes. Okay. Um, let's talk about the fifth round. So the picks: KDB by Meads, Virgil Van Dyke by Samuel, Ricardo Pereira by Dan, <clears throat> Andrew Robertson by Sebi, and Dissu has gone in early and picked his manager, a uh, certain Pep Guardiola. Uh, what do we think of the fifth round, guys? I think this is the best round of picks in terms of everybody's pick is a good pick for the first time. Well, Dan, I, think, I think Daniel's pick was a bit early. Daniel's but a bit he's a sick player. Yeah, he's, he's a, a sick. Do you know what? I even looked at him and I turned my nose up. I was like, mm. yeah. who did, wait, who did Daniel pick this round? Ricardo, Ricardo Pereira. Ricardo Pereira. Cool, 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 cool. Good player. Cool, cool, cool. Good player. Though. Good player. Though. Yeah. So, yeah. So you're mad at as well. Good age. Good I'm age. Yeah. Me, I, I, yeah. Me, obviously, me's got the best player of the round. My distance, yeah. but it's, it's weird, okay. Isn't it? So into round six, and we're at the halfway stage of, of the draft process. <clears throat> Looking good, the teams are coming together nicely. Uh, this is thirty seconds on the clock, sir. Yeah, so obviously I'm in a position that I expect to win. You know what I'm saying? So imagine back to back in that. So I'm conflicted <laughs> between a defender and a midfielder, but you know what? Fuck the defense. I'm staying true to my philosophy. So I'm gonna finish off my midfield. And my next pick is a player who I think is fantastic and young. Frankie De Jong. Frankie De Jong and Pogba in midfield, he didn't love to see it. Had him, had him, had him, but cool. Frankie De Jong, this is okay. No, no, he wasn't hard on the list, but yeah. Well, your, sc- your scouts weren't uh, big on the meads, no. I mean, he was a bit too Caucasian for us, but it's it's been well. <laughs> <laughs> You're bringing Kevin De Bruyne up. What are you talking about? We, we, had K- we, have, we have enough with um, KD Green, so. Can't be mad at it. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne. Uh, live only. KD's out, you know. Under, underrated PMP. Wait, 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 what? Wait, what, what, did, what did he just say? We won't be addressing, we won't be addressing that. I, I'll just keep talking. Okay. I, I'll keep talking over him if he tries to say it again. Uh, with the second <laughs> pick of the six rounds, uh, Sebi, who are you going with, sir? Mm, it's a toss-up between two players, but I'm now looking for somebody that's got to play, you know, the through balls and roll passes and stuff like that. So I'm going for my boy, Soul. Um, absolute wand of a left foot. Um, you know, mm. midfield general. You know, what can what can I expect? Do you know what I mean? Um, mm. he's he's gonna be at the base. Do you know what I mean? Just be at the base right there. Just just be at the base. String and pass together. So, so who's your pick, sorry? So Saul. Saul. Oh, Saul. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, good pick. Um, Dan, pick, back again. Almost like you hadn't left. Um, yeah. Third pick of the sixth round, sir. Who are you going with? Okay, can you tell him not to laugh when I pick my... my... <laughs> we, can, we can hope. We can hope. Okay, cool. So, I'm going again. My strategy, which I'm hoping will come through towards the end, I'm going Koulibaly. Koulibaly? Yeah. 29? A 29-year-old He's, he's 29 and injury-prone. Just Interesting. Well, imagine this, isn't it? So, I'm going, going Koulibaly. <laughs> Mind your business uh, is the word from uh, Dan HQ. It's as well. Uh, with the, the fourth pick of the sixth round, Samuel. Okay. I am going to go with my final attacker. And I will go with, on the right wing, Mo Salah, 27 years old. I think it will be a great counter-attacking team I have here in Raheem Sterling, Timo Werner, Mo Salah, 24, 25 and 27 years of age. I, I'm happy with that attack. I'll tell yeah. you, I'm happy. It's a strong attack. And with the final pick of the sixth round, Meads. Mm. It's a toss up. Um, I was looking for maybe defensive stability in my, in my midfield, but I'm all about ballers, really. So. I'm going to go for the, the drippiest CM available. Um, in Ruben off the street. Other than that, not in any. Who? Who's your pick, sorry? Ruben off the street. Ruben off the street. What did you say? Uh, this is, he wasn't on your boards. He was, he was, he was. He was, he was, he was on your board. Nine. Yeah. In my, in my, yeah, he was number nine on my list. He was the number nine on your list. Okay, so at the halfway stage, the sixth round, this you picked Frankie de Jong. Sebi went with Saul. 
Dan went with Koulibaly, Samuel went with Mo Salah, and Meads went with a certain Mr. Loftus Cheek. Uh, what are our thoughts after the sixth round, guys? Are you liking how your teams are coming together? I'm going to go straight to you, Dan, because there seems to be your your team seems to have the most question marks about it. But you are my you are my sleeper to do really well. So how do you feel it's going? <laughs> Nothing. You got to mute your mics. Um, <laughs> my, my strategy's going well, I think. But yeah. it, all, it all depends on the end. We'll see now. Mm. It's, people are laughing now, but we'll see. The, end, the ends will justify the means. Is that what you're saying? Open. Open. Okay. So we're back to our randomizer, gentlemen, to come up with the next order. If I see means at the top again, I'll have to <laughs> do that again. <laughs> okay. Here we are. Okay. So as we can see, Samuel, said, It is West Ham. What do you mean? I mean, so, let me say that he's actually rigged this website. I can assure you all that this is an independent website, not sourced by me. <laughs> this happens to be having a, a run of good luck. Obviously, oh, there are back still... Back to back, <laughs> back to back. Oh, you love it. Back to back to the best, <laughs> The back to back oh. are the best, sir. Uh, so with the first pick of the seventh round, Samuel, who are you going with? I'm going to go with... OK, I've got my playmaker. I've got my box-to-box. -box. Now some stability there. So I'm going to go with Fabinho. Fabinho? Yes. Yeah, he's with uh, still. Samuel. He's high on my defensive midfielder team. So that's a shame. I'm really liking my team. I can't lie to you guys. And the age is... <laughs> How old is Fabinho? Huh? How old is Fabinho? Uh, 26. 26, plucky kid out of Brazil. Good intangibles. You can't knock it. Uh, with the second pick of the seventh round, Sebi, keep him very quiet. Something tells me you've got a, a whole team working together, collating stats, up-to-date stats. <laughs> Come on, that's what I'm on. Um, I'm very, very comfortable with um, my options in midfield. So I'm going to go to a centre-back. And I'm going to go to, I know this centre-back is definitely high on Dish's list. Um, Laporte, hundred percent. Your motherfucker. Yeah. yeah so ah, I'm gonna go well. with. I'm gonna go with Laporte. Um, bitch, yeah, bro. man. Got 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 to shore up the defense. You know what I mean? Um, uh, we need some need some quality in there. So yes. Yeah. He's twenty five uh, as well. Mister Nomics, Mister I will ask you to keep the profanities to a, to a bare minimum, please, sir. Sorry. Thank you. Sorry, sir. Uh, <laughs> with the third pick <laughs> of the seventh round. Uh, Dissu, who are you going with? Okay, so well, I should have traded a pick to move up. You know, like that. <laughs> get um, since Serbs are up for and grab Laporte, I'm going to go and make sure I have another a decent defender. So I want to pick World Cup winner, multiple Champions League, um, Rafa Varane. Oh. 27 years old. Wow. Yes. He I is underrated. Got... How is he still on the boards? I even got a bit I, 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 I didn't I, I, think I didn't you know, you know, think I think he was going to go by now. No, I didn't think properly, Mariah. You hear me? Yeah, he's underrated. I was discussing him the other day. I don't think he'll go. I'm a mess. I even wrote his name because I thought I'd get him. I, was so I, I think I think he doesn't he doesn't get a hype yeah, because in my opinion he's a secondary centre back, isn't it? Yeah. So, he, he's secondary centre back and he's a quiet character as well. Why? Yeah. You're, playing beside, you're playing beside wait, wait, Sergio wait, wait, Ramos. Wait, wait, wait. What a man's trying to say that Hey, hey, you know, you know the little shots there, man. The, the look, you know, the, you know, I got, got had it, had it, them little shots there, bro. You know, he's not really a man, in it. Like, he's, yeah, he's just, you know, you know, he's he's not just, you know, is he? Yeah, man, not really a leader, but he's hey, not. yeah, I love, to, satellite. I love to see his 5k time, mate. I'll tell you that. Okay, yeah. uh, with the fourth pick of the seventh round, we've got Dan. 30 yes. seconds on the clock, sir. I think I'm back in it. I think I'm back in a game. I'm going to pick Mane. Sad of Mane. Better from you, Dan. Better from you, Dan. Yeah. Oh, hey, am, am I right? What round are we in? We're in round seven, sir. So you're getting quality like Mane in round seven. That's why you got to pass. Look at this. Because man, I'm doing hickey picks. Well, he, he got it. So. <laughs> no, no, I'm rating it. I'm rating it. Certain man picks you Oh, you're yeah, rating it. Yeah. Certain man picks you Felix in that. Yeah. Remember this. This team is over the next no, five years. Jao Felix is going to be a worldie. You look, you look, you look. Don't have the vision. Jao Felix, look at the team. Look, <laughs> you're not uh, sleeping on Jao Felix. I've been vouching for him. I'm telling you. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Bernardo Silva, you lot are sleeping on him. Don't worry. We'll look back at this in three years and then we'll see. With the fifth pick of the seventh round, Meads, 30 seconds on the clock, sir. Oh, it's me. It is well. Okay. I mean, so you were clearly pick. waiting for Samuel to finish his rant. But go on. <laughs> I know Meads is going to take my next pick in the next two. I know. So, I'll again, so the thing is, yeah, because everyone's picking centre backs, it's got me thinking. Because my formation's a little bit different. I'm playing a 3 5 2. Yeah. Um, you know what? I'm going to go with Joe Gomez. Because I rate him highly. Okay, what? Solid defender. Jesus Christ. Thank you. Joe Thank Gomez. You. Joe Gomez. Thank you. The seventh round. So the seventh round comes to an end. Uh, Fabinho for Samuel, Laporte for Sebi, Varane for Disu. Dan, with Mane still available in the seventh round, great pick, sir. And Meads comes with the Joe Gomez pick. Uh, mm-hmm. Looking, this time I don't want you guys to talk about your teams. I want to go around and ask you guys whose team you're fearing the most at the moment. I'll start with I you, think- Sebi. Whose team are you looking at and like, hmm? There are, there are, uh, so there are. He's, he's team I'm afraid of most. Well, it's definitely not Dan's. Um, no. So I, I might go for <laughs> probably DC because of the attack, um, the Messi and Neymar combination. You know, them, them man get popping. So I feel like, you know, they're capable of absolute magic. So those, yeah, those two is why I'm probably fearing DC's team. Cool. Uh, Meads, <clears throat> what team are you fearing yeah. most? You know what? Sam's isn't actually that bad. Um, but it doesn't sound like a compliment. I mean, look, it's a, it's a, it's a business. I'm, I'm not here to. to um, <laughs> no, but I'm not here to make friends. This is just I'm not here to make friends. This is just I'm, 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 I'm here to win. I'm here to win. I'm here to win, so I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even, you know, their, their yeah. sides are okay, they're cute. Now, yeah, so Sam's is alright, but to be fair, that attack um, that Ditu has is a strong attack, but it might be one that expires in two years, so, you know what I mean? Mm. So I'm we'll telling see. you, that's what I'm oh. telling you. Guys are saying that Messi's, uh, what, how old is Messi now? 33. 33. 38 by the time um, this is all said and done. Interesting. He's uh, gone what, what team are you looking at and thinking, I like, I like the job this man's doing? It's might be perfect honest, none. I can't lie. <laughs> um, <laughs> I can't lie. I'm not even liking it. I think... The rest of the presidents, um, I, just ask, I, I like Seb's team the most because I like Seb's attack. Other men are doing some funny business, but yeah, I think Seb's... Like, Mises is right there, yeah, seven. But Mises will play 3 5 two, so we'll, sm- we'll smash them, so seven team. Cool. Uh, Dan, whose team are you looking at and you're thinking, okay, I like what you're I, doing? I can't even focus on anyone else's team, you know. I'm trying to get my team together. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get my team together. I didn't realise, like, the light. I'm struggling. No, uh, that's... Have you got those... Like, yeah. Like, yeah, Neymar, like we said... Neymar might expire soon. Obviously, I've got a little consult- consultation from Dr. Leroy. He mm-hmm. said relatively to how people think, <laughs> what people think he should be doing, he's not doing the bits. So I don't know. I, I think maybe at this point, maybe um, me. me okay. And Samuel. I don't even believe that. He said that I was quite cool though. <laughs> and Samuel, what team Can are you? Can I have a recap the- of who's, who has... What? In the team? Hey, no, no, no. Hey, move on. Nah, this guy's a nah, move on. Hey, move on, move on. I don't know. Move on. <laughs> hey, uh, it was interesting that some of you used this I just know this two's team's going to expire. I just know they've got... They're, they're, they're fried rice by the next day, fam. <laughs> going to be off, awesome, mate. I led, I led asking... Time bomb there. I led asking whose teams were strongest, and some of you took this as an opportunity to actually slander your opponent's team. So it's interesting the way some of you think. But it's, it's, it's good fun. It's good fun regardless. Um, now we're in the eighth round. And with the number one pick in the eighth round, it's Meads. Meads, who are you going with, oh. sir? 
It's me again. There's only so many times you can do that. <laughs> so um, I'm currently looking, because again, it's free fire, it's free fire. So I'm, uh, maybe I might look for a winger again. Um, I feel all the good wingers are gone. I don't know. No, no, your boy's still there. <laughs> no, he's gone. My boy. No, no, his main boy's still there. Okay, I'm going to talk to him. Yeah, don't name names. Oh, what? You think the guard? I'm not. Nah, Garden of Eden, you like burgers too much, man. I don't know. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's true. Nobody has Eden, Eden Hazard. Eden, Eden Hazard like, still on the board. Eden, I, Eden likes his burgers too much. He likes his family a bit too much. He ain't really down Why with his family. Why do you like his family too much? <laughs> 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 no, no, he likes his family too much. He wow. likes his family too much. First time I've ever heard of it. Ever heard of no, a man he, being slandered he, he for loving his wife and kids? No, no, Eden will probably go back to Lil, what, age 32 and just chill. Eat his burgers all he wants. So, <laughs> wow. you can have garden. I'm, I'm cool with that. Ooh, you know who's been quite decent? So, five seconds left, sir. I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with Hakimi. No! Oh! Oh! That's what I'm going to do, bro. Oh, you're going to pick him? No. <laughs> <That's a> no. <laughs> With Hakimi from Dortmund, uh, a couple oh, of our oh. panellists are absolutely gutted. Mainly Samuel. I was, cause I was next. That was my, that was my pick. <laughs> that was your pick. He's literally taking the food from the mouth. 21 years <laughs> of age. Great attack. Great on the front foot. This is... Oh... <laughs> This is damn He could play in a variety of positions. He could play, off, like, yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know. Ah, hey, go, Sam. Great, great okay. pick. No, the next, the next pick, the number two pick of the eighth round. Dan, thirty seconds on the clock, sir. Okay, I'm gonna go with. I don't even like this player that much. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna go with Thomas Party. Okay. Thomas Party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, two. I didn't have it on my board. I'm dumb. I cannot think Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. Uh, two. Uh, two. Uh, two. <laughs> Dan, just, just, a quick, just a quick bit. You said you don't even like him that much. Why did you pick him, sir? Dr. Umar um, suggested him. So <laughs> I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to keep the pattern for my team. Okay. Seems like you're doing a lot of keeping Dr. Umar sweet and not... not, not um, seeking your own, <laughs> not seeking your own counsel. We'll see how that plays out at the end. Uh, with the third pick of the eighth round, Disu. Obviously, like my team just lit from stars on the coach to the centre back to the midfield to attack, and I think he's only right. I keep that vein. You know what I mean? So in midfield, we've got Pogba, we've got Frankie Dio, but we need somebody who can run and win the ball back and give uh -oh. these players. Uh -oh. So in Golo. No. Come, 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 come talk to me. Come talk to mm. me. So right now, my midfield is Kante, De Jong, Pogba, Attack, Messi, Neymar, Haaland, Coach Pep. We eating good right now. We eating good. N'Golo, Kante. See you on the next round. Uh, I good can't even lie. <laughs> N'Golo won't really be on my board. I'm not going to lie to you. Mm. Lie to, so I'm not really bad at that. Okay. Me's uh, talking to his scouts. Player that he didn't rate is gone. No difference to him. No skin off his nose. Um, uh, fantastic player, but 28 years old, knees might be a bit short. We're good. Yeah. Okay. The fourth pick of the eighth round, we are back with you, Sebi. Can you kindly give us your pick, sir? 30 seconds on the clock. Um, so this player was getting a lot of hype two years ago. Um, but since then, he's kind of, um, you know, you know, re... You know, reinventing himself in a new position in Serie A, Serie A uh, player of um, the year. So I'm going SMS Milinkovic Savic, and he's going to be uh, my central midfielder. But I'm swapping Saul. He's going to be the deepest central midfielder. I need PMP, and he's got unreal technical ability. Um, you know, and he's kind of reinventing himself. Yeah, and he's only maybe like 23, 24. Um, he's got plenty of time. Yeah, absolute baller. Yeah. Strong pick, yeah. and with the Not fifth the board, but good player. Fifth and final pick of the eighth round, Samuel. Do the honors, please, um, sir. Thirty seconds. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and secure a right back. There's only two I have left here. I don't really want one of them, so I'm gonna go with Joshua Kimmich 
25 years old. Oh. Right back. That's a good pick. That's a strong pick, sir. Joshua Kimmich for Samuel in the eighth round. So, our eighth round. Hakimi for Meads. Thomas Party for Dan. N'Golo Kante for Jisu. SMS for Sebi. And Joshua Kimmich for Samuel. Thoughts, guys, as I bring up our randomizer and we get it cracking. Just, uh, just a few rounds left now, three rounds left. Well, the best pick after me, of course, is N'Golo. Mm-hmm. Um, the best did you pick? Know. But yeah, the best. Did you pick? Hakimi. Who did you pick? Of course, is Hakimi. Oh, yeah, 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 best pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, that's the best pick. There, there is no. We we don't debate them ones. That one's a certain pick. I don't know why people were lacking. Pick Trent. Yeah, it is well. <clears throat> it is well. Now I just need a little. Trent's 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 better than Hakimi. Both of them. Both of them are. Trent's, Trent's better than Hakimi. Both not. No, yeah, not. yes. Yeah. Hakimi, yeah, boy, Trent, come on, man. Hakimi, boy, boy, boy yeah. what we're doing here? We're doing we're doing the counter attack thing. So see my team here. <laughs> It's a lo- you know, it's a low block until it's time to spring. <laughs> so I ain't, I, ain't got, I ain't got time. Do you know what I mean? I ain't got time for anything else, bro. Do you know what I mean? Uh, so we have our ninth round order. Down with the number one pick of the ninth round. Meads, Disu, oh, Sam, shit pick. My and God. then uh, Samuel <laughs> closing out the ninth round. So, Dan, we're back with you and Dr. Umar. 30 seconds on the clock, sir. <laughs> Sister Avanti? I sacked Dr. Umar, innit? Um, next one, because you guys are laughing too much. <laughs> so, yeah, this is just me now. Okay. I'm going with Klopp to lead the Klopp. team. Yeah, I have to secure the manager. I'm going Klopp to lead the team. He's done. Oh, next. No. Shoot. That was my next one. Oh, shoot. I'm always too Shoot, 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 shoot. Uh, with the second pick of the ninth round, Meads. 30 seconds, sir. Um, <clears throat> Ryan, you've been timing it? Yes, sir. Let's just get to the third. Hey, relax. Let me, let me just chill <laughs> and select in time, okay? So, um, I don't know. I feel maybe now is the right time to pick a coach. And I'm going to go for um, Eric Tinghan from Ajax Manager. Okay. Um, Eric makes it. He's a great coach. No, huh? Knows what it is to win. Although it's in, in on Holland, he's a, he's a winner. You know, there was a kick away from the Champions League final with a young team. And my team, the profile of my team is very young, so I need that. I think that works. It's the right blend. You think it's a, a nice partnership, yeah? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, with the third pick of the ninth round, Jesse, back on the clock, sir. 30 seconds, please. Uh, cool. So attack pattern, midfield pattern. Coach Patton, so now it's time to finish off the defence. And I'm going to go with a player who I think is underrated in world football. He's versatile. He could play in midfield as well. And that's the Brazilian Marquinhos from PSG. Oh, strong, strong, strong. I'm really he's liking only, how these teams are coming together. He's only 25. That's a great pick, man. Only 25. Yeah, man. You, know, you know me, he's not too heavy. You know it's not heavy, uh, man. I just... With the number four pick of the ninth round, Sebi, back on the clock. 30 seconds, sir. You're muted. Oh, shit, sorry. So I just need to finish off my defence. Um, so I'm going Jimenez, uh, the centre-back for Atletico. Um, very, very young, unreal. Um, you know, what, what, what can I say, man? Um, I, he's only 25, still he's got a wealth of experience, um, used to defending, and that's what we're going to be on. So yeah. yeah, low block things, isn't it? <laughs> low block things. You should defend him, yeah. Putting his heart on the line, yeah. That's a top pick. I really should have gone there instead of Gomez, but we'll have him still. Who yeah. did you say? He said he Jimenez on. from Atletico. Oh, Jimenez. Oh, Jimenez. Oh, okay. Cool. Great defender. And with the fifth pick of the ninth round, Samuel, you're on the clock, sir. Um, I'm gonna go with uh, left back. David Alaba, I'll go with. No. David Alaba. Solid pick. How old is he? 27. Yeah, but he's been, having, he's been having a shocker for the last two years. But, hey. Yeah, my, my, my man thinks this is FM 2016. Yeah, we, yeah, we move. But it's the next five years. You lot make up your mind, Why are you lot talking about the next five years? 
Man thinks this is 20, 2018, bro. Simon, yeah, don't, don't, yeah, Simon yeah. don't forget the characters that you're engaged in battle with. Some of the shadiest, <laughs> dirtiest <laughs> Nigerians that you'll ever come across. Hey, hey. so one, <laughs> round, <laughs> one round, is cu- one round is current form. The next round is the next five years. One round, who's got a left foot? The next round, who can do the fastest 5K? To just be it's adaptable. <laughs> What can I say? You know the vibes? You know the vibes? And uh, you're back on the clock again. Uh, the first pick of round 10, Samuel. Who are you going with, sir? Oh, shit. Um, yeah. I'm going to go with... You know what? All the good managers are pretty much gone. I'm going to go with... A manager I see is courageous. Nuno. Wolves manager. I'm going to go with Nuno. I am dead. Portuguese together. No, you got no, no, no. Let me tell you, let me be honest, man. Let me be honest. Let me be honest. No one told me we're picking managers. I have no manager. <laughs> no one told me. When you know we're picking managers, I got rattled. I was like, oh shit, I ain't, man. I ain't forgot one. Hey, the rattle men picks are killing me, bro. Oh, <laughs> I just picked them. But, what's that? He's, what's that? However, he's courageous. <laughs> I have faith in you, know. Oh my god, I've got a headache. <laughs> oh, but there is. Who else is left? I, I, I mean, I few... don't want to say, but the other ones, I wanted someone that, that, that would lead my young team, attacking team. The rest Listen. I felt weren't. Uh... The, list, the listeners. The attacking team and, and, and Nuno, you know. The, but, listener, um... the listeners will decide. Um, with the second pick of the 10th round, Sebi, 30 seconds, sir. Um, come on, man. Sometimes you've got to throw the Hezzy in there. I'm going for the Dortmund <laughs> manager, Lucian Feather. Um, you know, I, everyone thought I was going to pick Oli, but, you know, it's the hesitation. It's the, it's the, it's the hesitation. You know, you know <laughs> quick hezzy. <laughs> quick hezzy. Um, you know, I'm shameless, man. That's what I'm on, man. That's what I'm on, man. Um, it's all games. We've got to play the game. So, yeah. You clearly are, sir. You clearly are. Yeah. Uh, with the third pick of the 10th round, this week. Okay, so I'm seeing people are starting to get patterns. So now largely it's fullbacks. And I'm going to go for a player that I've rated quite highly for some time. Um, left back, Gaia. Who does he play for? Valencia. Valencia. Gaia of Valencia. And that is just He's pretty young still, isn't he? Under 25? Yeah, 25. He must be. Uh, good pick, good pick. Um, the fourth pick of the 10th round. <clears throat> you are back on the clock, Meads. Um, well, one of the best centre backs in the world, in my opinion, um, Milan Skriniar from Inter Milan, top player, um, twenty four years of age as well. Well, no, twenty five now, but um, yeah, very good player, very very good player. And only going to get better under Conte stewardship as well. So yeah. Hey, I've seen some clips of him getting better, you know. So. Um, hey, be careful, be careful, be careful, hey, be careful, man. He's a good so he getting better, you know, so be, be careful, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro, be getting battered, bro. Hey, he was linked with us. I made sure I did my due diligence, bro. Yeah, no, he's a good player. From what I've seen, he's a very, very good player, man. Hey, if you've been getting whacked, then you've been getting whacked, I can't. Cool. And with the final pick of the 10th round, Dan. Cool. All right. I'm going to go for one for the future. Next five years, I think one of the best young players in the world, even though I haven't watched many matches. I'm going with, I'm going with Kai Havertz. Yeah. Interesting. Of Leverkusen. Yeah. Kai mm-hmm. Havertz. And that is Dan Pick. And with that, the 10th round is done. Your teams are almost done. The majority of you, oh, I said, yeah, the majority of you have picked your managers. So we're going to our final two rounds, gentlemen. Give me uh, the fifth pick, please, God. I have used the randomizer, and this is our final order: Meads, oh, Samuel, this is again, and Dan. I think oh. Dan. 
You yeah. actually hadn't had the fi- a fifth a back to back pick round yet, had you? No, no. you yes. hadn't. So the, the randomizer has done its job. I, I like to think. Obviously, this is not happy, and he may have to take down that Champions League background. But until then, we move, as they say. So, with the first pick of the eleventh round, meets. This is an interesting one because it could be either left back or left winger. There's one name that you don't have in picks. There's two two names that we're gonna talk about. Name, there, bro, know. there's a couple names that I was looking at. Oh, maybe total, but I'm not sure if I'm really liking that much. We don't work. Oh, oh. Hey, how long's left, Moreau? <laughs> <laughs> two I'm seconds. Out me. Yeah, I'm cool. Um, John, Meads, we 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 have to rush you for a pick now, sir. Uh, so I'm gonna go with Usman Dembele, um, and that's because I think he's a supremely talented player. He had his bad luck with injuries, um, but I think he'll come out stronger after this last one. So, what's that based on, sir? Where are you getting your medical information from, <laughs> Doctor? He's had he's had one he's had two bad injuries, and I think this one's probably gonna. It's now on Everfront, in my opinion. Anyway. Back from Dr. Now, Umar as well. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, switched, he, he switched camps. <laughs> a, me, a, medical, a medical degree in Pan-Africanism. A medical degree in Pan-Africanism. What, what, Dr. Umar's working for the, for the Chelsea boys, yeah? <laughs> no, I, told you, I told you from the jump. I'm all about ethnics. So I can make exceptions for a couple of men, but they get sick trims. So, I mean... I'll make exception for them, man. Trims. I don't know about the other brothers. Uh, for the second pick of the temp- it was the 11th round, sorry. Samuel, sir, please do the honours. 30 I'm seconds on the clock. I'm going with a goalkeeper now before the good ones get taken. I'm going with Alisson, of course. Hi, Alison, sir. Hi. How are you? <laughs> How are you this fine evening? Alisson for Samuel. Pretty straightforward pick there, in my humble opinion. Uh, with the third pick of the 11th round, Dissy, you're back on the clock, sir. Yeah, um, Stegen. Who? Stegen, Stegen, Stegen. Yeah, Stegen. Stegen. Oh, Ter Stegen. Ooh, good choice. It's still on the clock. Ooh, very good choice. Okay, and with the fourth pick of the 11th round, Sebi. Edison, Man City. Edison, Man City. <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> keeping up the keepers. Who's that? Those keepers are just picking themselves. <laughs> yeah, but um, did you <laughs> say... <laughs> to be fair, yeah, the there's, the a, round, there's four keepers on the same level. I have four round. keepers as well. So I was like, I need to get one before I'm left out At the start of the round, <laughs> Dan had a plethora of goalkeeping choices and was in the space of three picks. They've dwindled before his eyes. He couldn't even hide his reaction. Don't forget, guys, you're on the camera as well. So let's try and play the poker game as well as we can. So it was the fifth pick of the 11th round. Dan. It's minor, it's Rakovic. Now, now, most people don't know who he is, but in the next five years, I think that people will know his name as his goalkeeper. Can you no, spell no. that for me? Uh, hey, 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 send to the Marie. <laughs> hey, send to the Marie. Take it a piss. You know how to spell it. Who would it be? <laughs> no, 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 Dan, don't worry, don't worry. That was actually my pick. You no, may have my... the last laugh. You may have yeah. the last laugh. You may have the last laugh, sir. You That's true. That might be your gym. That may be your gym. So, R A J. K O B I C. But I say, who's bad is this? <laughs> <laughs> and the final round, round 12, gentlemen. Dan, again, you're up, sir. 30 seconds. Okay, cool. Um, and this one, Real Madrid, have him on loan, but I think he's going to be sick for the next five years. Mm-hmm. Martin Odegaard. Ooh, nice pick. Nice pick there, sir. Good. Um, good. Sebi, your final pick, sir. Um, so I'm going to have to go for uh, another midfielder it's out of two but I'm going to go with Donny van der Beek um, I feel like he's an absolute baller um, yeah top level supposed to be going Madrid soon um, yeah man so you think, that, like, you think that pick speaks for itself yeah yeah top baller man top baller that's all I uh, need okay. with the third pick of the 12th round this is Jaded, but we're here now. Reese James. Reese James at right back. 
Very, very good pick there, sir. Um, with the fourth pick of the 12th round, Samuel. I forgot about Reese James. <laughs> Um, my final you know, pick. We know we do. You know we do here. This will PLC. <laughs> Keep it in. That's all right. lying down now. Our job's done. You get me. My last choice is a centre back, and I, I want um, a Dutch partnership. So I'm gonna go with uh, De Ligt, um together with Van Dijk. Uh, good yeah. choice. Gonna hit you here though. That's what I heard. Bro, I'm getting up in Syria A, bro. Apparently, he's here though. Yeah, he it it has everything here. Man, man, look at Italy. It is well. Hey, uh, just, just, just give me the lie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hearing. It is well. I'm hearing. I'm hearing. still playing and fishing my mouth and that. And with the final pick of the draft, Meads, please do the honors. So goalkeepers again. Um, quite a few good ones, but I think Thibaut Courtois. I think I have to go with Courtois. 27 years old. Uh, Interesting. Um, I had a fantastic year at Madrid this season. Did he? Did he? I mean, did he? he Courtois! Yeah. I mean, when I think of keepers getting packed in, when I think of the keepers getting packed in, Courtois is probably the first I, one that comes I, to my I, mind. I, 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 at, the, at the start of the season, they were on him. They were on him. At, they were on him at the start of the season. Why, why, why do you think that noise has suddenly stopped? Because he's been doing uh, by, by the way, yeah, by the way, what the draft finished before I mentioned the keeper. Finished. Yeah, why didn't you just go for All Black? All Black, that's what I'm yeah. wondering. Yeah, Way better. You forgot about All Black. Black. You forgot about him. I forgot about him. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, 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 wait. He wasn't on my field because I think he's older. I think all black's older. He's 27. He's 27. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. That's a fuck up. That's a fuck up. Well, that was wow. very interesting. No one got guys. Yeah, he's 27. Yeah, I fucked up still. He's probably no the best keeper. Because I was the best keeper in the world. A bunch of he wild boys. A bunch of yeah. wild boys. I'm not going to lie. I would have picked Kepa. Like, I don't give a fuck. You heard that? Just keep it. How much do you have? Say that again. I don't mind. What? No, Desi, this is you. What keeper uh, do you have? Um, St- Stegen. Castigan. You thought you were going to draw me out, didn't it? Nah, <laughs> no, 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 I didn't remember. I didn't remember. Yeah, you tried to draw me out. I didn't cool. remember. So, yeah, I completely forgot about Black Storm. The, dra- the draft is finished, and it will be the listeners who decide who has the strongest team. So when we post the pod tomorrow morning, we will post your teams in your desired formations. So please, all of you, uh, send them to me using whatever method, Twitter, WhatsApp, etc., etc. And we will see who we have coming out on top. I know who my money's on. Anyone wants to take a side bet, let me know. (laughs) Cool. But all that being said, we're going to finish up with uh, the listeners' questions. Wait, 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 quickly. You know when you put up the the teams, yeah? You've got to put their age in brackets, fam. You've got to put their age in brackets. I'll I'll speak with admin about that. (laughs) Five years. Um, first question I'm going to go with uh, GH Tunda what is each team slash players and inshallah for example Trent plus KDB equals cross and inshallah Robin equals cut inside and inshallah um, what would so we'll do it with the clubs that are here well I mean your club's already been covered here Samuel cross and inshallah um, seven, <laughs> seven Dissy what would Manchester United's inshallah be Rashford and Martial and inshallah this season. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's, that's okay. literally you've been it, bro. Link up link up player and inshallah, man. That's it. Link that's up player and inshallah, yeah? Okay. Give, give it Rashford inshallah. Give it Rash. <laughs> give it Rash. <laughs> Dan and Meads, what would your inshallah be this season? Do you know what? At the beginning of the season, it was Tammy and Inshallah. Yeah, it was. <laughs> and then and then it was Cross and Inshallah with me saying to them. Um Bro, and now it's just inshallah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. 
Oh, wow. Wow, <laughs> next wow, season, wow. next next season, it's going to be shooting, inshallah, if we get the players who are linked. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was. Cool. Um, got a question from underscore GJR1. Do not pronounce that, so I just read it out. Do you agree with the idea that it was a mistake for Neymar to leave Barca? And how will he be remembered relative to the likes of Dino Kaka and R9? Samuel, I'll ask you to uh, answer that first, sir. I, I think it was a mistake. I think they had... I think that was one of the greatest attacking front three we would see for a very long time with the MSN. Um, I, in terms of his legacy, I don't know. I think we'll have to see the World Cup as well. I think, like... The, their performance for their national team holds a lot of weight. So, if we're talking about legacy compared to other Brazilian players, I think it'll, it'll depend well, on that I, World I, Cup. I can't really match work for the Brazil national team, though. No, I didn't. I, 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 I think it's a Ballon d'Or thing. If it was a Ballon d'Or, yeah, then he's, cert, he's certified. He's certified already, but Kaka at least he had them two seasons where people are like, do you know what? He's, he might be the best player in the world, isn't it? Mm, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But the, other, but the other, but the others didn't necessarily win Ballon d'Or. But do you know what I mean? Performed. That's the, 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 that's the, that's I think the it could be either. Could be no, either. You're saying you're weighing it up that way. That's the best to balance yeah. it out. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. Cool. Um, Seb, what are your thoughts on Neymar leaving Barca and how he will be remembered in comparison to the Brazilian greats? Um, yeah. I- Definitely don't think he should have left Barca. Well, obviously, I understand his decision um, from what the murmurs were regarding him wanting to have his own team. Um, But I just feel like, for me anyway, and this is just my personal opinion, the league, in terms of competition, is not really up there. So that's that's a dent on your legacy. And then on top of that, if the league's not up, if the league's not up there, you have to go and do a madness when it comes to, uh, you know, your international your international, um, your international, team. And he hasn't had the chance to do that right now. So um, if his career ended today, I'd say it'd be a bit of a hype job. Go down like Adriano and them, wow. man. But, um, you know, if his, if his career progresses and he, and he, um, and he, like, puts in some international performances or maybe goes on another move, then obviously you can put him up there as one of the best for me, anyway, I just don't feel that same type of aura that I felt when it was them, them other guys. Like the aura around them and the aura around Neymar is, is different. Cool, uh, Disu, Dan, what are your thoughts in regards to that question? Um, what for? Just jumping off what Seddy said, I just feel like in general, do you know like how everyone's saying Biggie and, and Tupac can't be touched? So like older players are always going to have that aura, but I think. Um, Again, I think it's how he ends the story. If he goes back to a top league and he smashes it out, like you said before, then it's cool. Um, and the fact that he's done it in another league, that's, that could be a bonus if he comes back to a top league and he proves that he's level. Jesse, what do you think? Okay. What do you think, Me, He's gone. No, just because I know this is going to be on the super defence, but... In terms of Neymar, I think a lot of people are forgetting what he did in his debut World Cup, actually, um, mm. in terms of his performances before he got injured. Performance was exceptional. Mm. Like, that World Cup, well, he was exceptional. No, no bands. Like, until the injury, he, he was insane. So I think in the World Cups that he's been at, I think the last one was, meh, the last one, he was, he was injured for the first couple of games, I think. Mm-hmm. And when he came back, he was okay. He wasn't great. Um, but the first World Cup, top, top. He's just been unlucky with injury in the World Cups. For, so, but he's got probably another one left in him, which is a bit sticky. So, yeah, I, I get what you lot are saying in terms of you needing that to kind of solidify himself as a Brazilian great because them lot have won stuff. Like Champions Leagues, uh, Neymar's won the Champions League, but part of a messy team. Um, Kaká won the Champions League. Part of a great team, but Kaká was the star of that team. Um, and also World Cups. But the move itself, I was always a little bit against it, only because I, while I understood that he wanted to be the franchise player and have his own team and be the guy, be the main guy, not Messi's number two. I think generally, his, the, career, the trajectory of his career, I think he would have been better suited to staying at Barcelona or going to a better side 
to be the franchise player. I don't think PSG was the right move for him solely because it's PSG in France where they're the dominant side anyway. They're going to win whether you are there or not. I think if you're going to go to a team, maybe like a Manchester City, where they're filled with a t- like sensational players, if you go there and you will be their stellar star player, but also have the chance to be in a competitive league, but then also competitive in the Champions League, it just seems a lot better. It feels like a better fit to me. But are Manchester City seen as a glamour side? No, I think the move needed to be quite glamorous for him to do it. So PSG, in essence, kind of made sense for him. But I don't know. I, I wouldn't say that the move tarnishes his legacy. I just don't think it will make him... I don't think it will push him to the heights that the, the Ronaldo's... Uh, I wouldn't say Kakao, but Ronaldo's, in my opinion, anyway. But, or Ronaldinho's. But, you know, I, I, it's a hard one. It's a sticky one for Neymar, to be honest. Can I quickly add to the uh, World Cup? Uh, the reason why I agree with like, the World Cup being quite important for him, for his legacy, is because while he's at League on, he's not being watched enough. Like He's not being watched the way he would be by fans if he was at um, but, uh, sit, uh, flipping La Liga Barca, Barca yeah. or yeah. Premier League something like that yeah, yeah. so I don't, I don't feel he's being watched as much like week in week out by fans when he's playing at um, League on than if he was playing in one of the bigger leagues so I think that's why the World Cup's like important well that stage that spotlight yeah exactly and Dissu I know you're a, you're a big Neymar fan so Interesting to hear your thoughts in regards to the question. Um, I think, obviously, if you look at the results, it hasn't done the world of good for his reputation. But, um, but I just feel like that's just a bit lazy and that's just the nature of the game. Because if you actually watch Neymar and watch when he plays in the Champions League, he's been exceptional. I think the main issue of the move is he's been brittle. So, yeah, he's going to win. He's going to be the best player in League R. He's going to win the League R every time. But what matters when you play for teams like in, the, in these dominant leagues, one team league, so you talk about Juventus, Bayern and PSG, is what you do in Europe. So if he wasn't get injured every flipping time in January, February, and all the talk about around that, all the rumours around that, just silliness, but it's funny. Um, and he goes deep in the Champions League and wins the Champions League with, with Mbappe and Verratti and them, his legacy is completely different. You know what I'm saying? So I think the issue is that we haven't seen if he, if he was playing Higgy and they were getting knocked out in the quarterfinals or whatnot, then yeah, but I feel like he hasn't had the chance to go through or have a full season at PSG where they're going deep in the Champions League or not. So I think the World Cup thing is a bit techy because that's international tournament comes once every four years. But Brazil don't seem to be that great. But if he wins the, if he wins the Champions League with PSG, he's certified. And I think well, when we speak about other Brazilian greats, what everyone had in common, Ronaldo, Ronaldinho and Kaká, they've all won the Ballon d'Or. And I've all been at one point considered the best player in the world. So unfortunately for him, he's playing in the Messi in the Messi era, the Ronaldo era. But them and are low key expiring in that. So if he can still stay wavy for another three years, he can win a Ballon d'Or. So if he wins a Ballon d'Or in the Champions League, then he's certified. But if he doesn't, then he's just going to go down as one of the big what ifs. Kaká won the World Cup as well, wasn't it? Uh, uh, but he? He was in the squad, he didn't play. Oh, he, 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 yeah, he had, so. 2000, he was going to come on. But then they had the man sent off, or so Scolari says. Um, got another question from Count Dracula, or Dra X Dila. Uh, do we underrate CBs or centre backs for not having leadership qualities? Everyone talks about Terry Ramos and Puyol for being some of the best, but the likes of Carvalho, Pepe, Varane, and Piquet are often underrated compared to their respective centre back partners. So, funnily enough, going back to the to the draft. Um, I wouldn't say that they're underrated. I'd say that they're just not in the eye. So they're not, they're just, you don't catch the eye as much, but they, you still rate them. You still absolutely rate them. So Varane, I don't think anyone could say that this guy is not top. Top tier. But leadership qualities are important when you're building a side. I think it's, it's, it's critical to your defence when you have a form of a leader in your side. I, I think those kind of defenders, though, are quite hard to find. So when you do get them, you could kind of see the transformative effects. Whereas if you don't have a leader, you get in as a good centre-back, who isn't a leader, I don't think he necessarily will transform your side. But I think the leadership qualities are important because you get a voice and a manager almost on the pitch. So it, 
you, I, for me personally, I think it is a is a is a quality that I wouldn't say takes you to the next level because your defensive skills are all still the same. But it's a it's a, a special quality, an additional quality that kind of I wouldn't say separates you, but it just marks you out as a different type of defender, in my opinion. I think that answers the question. Cool. Anyone have anything else to add in regards to that question? No. Cool. Um, yep. <laughs> um, so there's a quote, there's a question from the Gantsonso underscore. There's a quote from Bayern Sporting Director um, Hassan Salamanovic. Well, I think I botched that, but here we go. Uh, they're talking about moves for Sane and Havertz, uh, both drafted in our uh, TLF draft. We want to strengthen our team with the best talent in Europe and also bring in an international star to Munich. So he's up. Can you guys discuss Bayern's current squad and their current recruitment plans and where you see them in three years? I guess... Too much. Cut... What, the question's too much? No, no, their team is too much. Their team, their team is... It's unreal. Nah, it's too much. Let them... It's very difficult to, to talk about their Have a break, bro. But if you look at their... If you look at their centre-backs, I think they've got Sula, who's ridiculous. Mm. Then you've got their left-back, Davis. For me... Is next level. It's I've never up. like. I've oh, never course. seen like what he did to us at the bridge was just different gear, bro. Different gear. That guy is incredible, a incredible athlete, and also got the end product as what well. is mad, absolutely mad. And then you've also got the profile of their what they're trying to do. The profile is all PNP, bro. All PNP exactly. in the key areas. So at centre back, at the defence, and at attack, all PNP. Mental, absolutely mental. So, but they said they want a star. I wonder who they're looking at then. Like they're for that. They're basically looking at one. They want a franchise player. But they're not. That's just that's just for, they're not just looking for the star today. They're looking for the star tomorrow, which is future. crucial. So, so when they're you think names like of, yeah, Havertz, I know that we've spoken about him and you don't rate him as much. But from what I've seen of him and everything, all the noise from Germany, and don't forget, Bayern Munich scouted Pepe, yeah. and they saw kind of what I saw a little bit later. Where they, they did their run and there was like, yo, this isn't like, I can't remember what they yeah, said, but it's talking about technical qualities or whatever. But yeah, I think in the first, that's, 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 that's their franchise player I think they're looking to build around. But I echo what you guys are saying. They know what they're doing. I right. think I would put them top in terms definitely, of Definitely, definitely. Back to you, got a question. I was <laughs> muted. <laughs> I got a question from. No, I have to. Got a question from Anik Palmer. Uh, the PFA awards were due to be held tonight. Who should have picked up the top prizes? So we're talking Player of the Year and Young Player of the Year. So a quick whip round the room. Um, who would have you guys as Young Player of the Year been? Um, Henry Trent. Henderson. Sorry, no. Dean Henderson. Trent Henderson. Rashford. Wait, Young. Rashford. Or, uh, Rashford. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Young player of the year, that's Dean Henderson, yeah? Henderson, yeah. Dean Henderson. Oh, Dean. And, um, Rashford. and the player of the year for me would have been Mane. Mane, yeah. for you, Mane. Anybody got any uh, different choices for those two awards? Yeah, Young will be Trent. Yeah. Young Rashford, Trent. Rashford, Rashford, Young for me. Player of the year, KDB. Rashford, so we've got Mane, KDB for player of the year. Uh, Henderson, Trent, Rashford for Young Player of the Year. Any other names? We'll, we'll put this out to the to our listeners tomorrow. Any other names? Well, you say money, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. We've got money. KDB, Player of the Year. Van Dijk. Van Dijk got to be in talks. What? For what? Player of the Year. What's talking about? Cool down, man. Cool down. He's got to be. He's got to be in the talks. He's cool. got to be in the conversation. Cool. He's got to be in the talks, mate. He said, "Who else?" I'm adding. Yeah, we'll take. We'll take some listeners. No worries. So, with that being said, I want to thank you all for your time this evening. Very interesting draft. Uh, interesting to see um, whose team comes out on top. Who's feeling bullish? I can't lie. I'm furious with my last pick. Furious. <laughs> <laughs> Everything was perfect. I, up until if you, hey, Miz, if you look back here yeah, when you've made your pick, I'm pretty sure my mouth dropped. I'm pretty sure my jaw dropped. 
I'm pretty sure. I'm living. I was so shocked. I was so shocked. You know what? I was, look, I was so, I was so smooth with it. You know how? I picked up. Shall, I, didn't shall, know I, paid my wow. shall, I didn't I tell you how how I got my players? Yeah, is just before we come online. I just went on FIFA. and went on all the top leagues, and I just <laughs> just wrote them down. Like, <laughs> just, yeah, come on, bro. That's the tactics, bro. I don't even have FIFA. I can't. I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't be because my, my initial ta- my initial tactic was to get the best young players, right? Mm. So then I was filtering out all anyone that was above twenty six. Mm. Mm. Oh, then goalkeepers came at the end. And oh, goalkeepers... I can't lie, yeah. I can't lie. If it be an objective, like <laughs> my team is a lot better than all you man's team. Uh, <laughs> nah, <laughs> no way. Wait, wait, wait. Watch your team. Watch your team. Watch the team. Watch the team. No, no, way. no way. Let me tell you my team. Let me tell you my team. So first of all, no, wait, wait, wait. first of all, I got the best coach. One, yeah. Secondly, my defense, my defense, I can't let my defense is a bit needy still. Yeah. Well, my defense is getting moved no, no, to. No, 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 it's not getting moved to. Let's not. I got Reese James and Guy. I saw both fast. <coughs> yeah. I see. Okay. Verana Marquinhos, PMP. Yeah, so so Reese James. Yeah. <laughs> wow, Dan, boy. <laughs> no, it's a dirty game. It's a dirty game. A dirty game. What do you say? He's like, did you see what Davies done to Reese James? <laughs> 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 this thing is not listening, isn't it? So, uh, bro, you got Ricardo Pereira. Right? Ricardo Pereira, that killed he's me. Quality, bro, he's quality, he's quality, though, man. Oh, he's right, quality, cool. but bro, we've ain't seen him on the world stage, bro. Like, yeah. hey, cool. Anyway, midfield I've got Kante, Pogba, Frankie Beyond, and I've got Neymar, Messi, and Harlan up front. Ma- so what, man's got. We're talking about, about Alfonso Davis versus Reece James. No, nah, but here this year, Fra- Frankie De Jong, yeah, as well, had a shock at Barca this yeah, year. Yeah, and you got you, so you got two players that can't defend in midfield, yeah. and then you got Kante who's got knee injuries and that. Yeah. You're done out there, bro. In the midfield, you're getting packed in, bro. Neymar, yeah, yeah. Neymar, who's expiry has begun three years ago, bro. Getting He's injured. 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 My team's going to run you, man, to run, run you lot to death, bro. Like, it's <laughs> just What's pure name? pace <laughs> everywhere. No, my, my team. team. Don't you be someone that walked without for the uh, No, 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 but I don't think you know. Hey, stop moving Sam's mic because I don't want to hear about his parents. Very team. Look, my, my team. Very team. Look, look at it. Look at it. He wasn't about PNP, but my attack. He's got the again. You got the bell. The two of Look, and wait, 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 the belly one and three, La Tura one and two. Oh, guys, guys, guys. Guys, guys, guys. Hot to the guys, guys, guys. One and sixteen. <laughs> no, my attack's better than yours, right. Meads. My attack's better than yours. I, I actually haven't finished the pod yet, so. Uh, oh, okay. that, <laughs> so that being said, <laughs> thank you all for your time this evening, and enjoy the rest of your evenings. Peace. Uh, I was tired. I